Hi guys, we are going to combine radicals. And when we do that, the most important thing we have to know is that the radical, the square root, has the same base. So for this one, the base is 6, but it's underneath the square root. And so when I combine these two terms, I take the 4 minus the 10, and then the square root of 6 stays. So this would be 4 minus 10, negative 6, square root of 6. It's kind of like if you take 4x minus 10x, the x just stays, just like the square root of 6 just stays. And then these are just like terms that we are going to add. 3 plus 3 is 6. So 6 minus 6 square roots of 6. And this stays together. This term means negative 6 times the square root of 6. So our answer would be this one. So unfortunately, they're not always that easy. Sometimes they're a little more tricky and we have to simplify a little bit more. So on these three, we can see none of them have the same base. That's x to the 8th with a 9, x to the 16th, x to the 12th. So we have to simplify these a little bit. I'm going to start with the first one, square root. 9x to the 8. We can split this up, so I have the square root of 9 times the square root of x to the 8th power. And remember, when we have a square root, there's an invisible 2 right here. That's our index. So the square root of 9 is 3 times 3, or we just bring this pair out, we have two pair as one. So the square root of nine is three. And then here, this is really eight X's. Gonna write them all out. And we are looking for a pair, two. So I have one pair which we bring out of the square root as one. And I have another pair, another pair, and another pair. And I'm looking for pairs because of that too. So now I have three x to the fourth. I have four x's left over. So this part is simplified to 3x to the fourth. And then we're gonna go the next one. So eight, index of four, x to the 16th. So I need groups of four this time. I'm not gonna write out 16 x's. I could. But what I really need is groups of four. So I would have x to the fourth, and then I would have four more, and four more, and four more, until I had 16. Four plus four plus four plus four. Which, when I take the fourth root of that, the fours are, op are the same, so they're canceling and I would be left with four X's. So this one simplifies to eight X to the fourth. And then last one, let's write it over here. I have eight and now I have a cube root of X to the 12th. So this one, you, 
guys, that's 12 X's, which I can write them all out. I'm not gonna, going to. I'm looking for groups of three. So there's one group of three, there's two groups of three, and if I continue that out to 12, I would have four groups of three. And when I take the Q group of X to the third, we're just left with X, and I get that four times. So this goes down to eight, that's already there, and then X to the fourth. So I actually ended up getting rid of all the square roots, and now we just have some like terms here. So three plus eight plus eight, that's 11, plus eight is 19, and then x to the fourth is our base, it's our variable, it just stays on each one. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. This was the very first question on the self-check I opened. So when we see these, we have to simplify before we can combine. So I'm gonna take seven, cube root of 192x. And we just have to start getting factors. So 192. I don't know. I always start with dividing by 2. It's 96 and 2. There's my pen. There we go. 2 times 96. And then we're just going to keep going. So I know 96 is even, so I'm going to divide by 2. 2 and 48. And keep going. 2 and 24. 2 and 12. 2 and 6. 2 and 3. So that is a lot of twos. If I rewrite that, I'm going to rewrite this as 7 cube root and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 twos. And a 3. So if I multiply all that out, I'm going to get 192. And then I still have an X under there. So when I look at the index, that's what's telling me my groupings. So I need three twos. And when I pull that out, since that's really the cube root of eight, the answer to that is two. And I have the same thing. This is 8. If I take the cube root, I'm going to get 2. And then the 3, there's just 1. The x, there's just 1, so they stay. These numbers multiply. So 2 times 2 is 4 times 7 is 28. Cube root of what's left over, which is 3x. So this simplified to 28 cube root of 3x. And now I'm going to do the same thing with the second one. Now I have 2 cube root of 24x. I'm going to do the same process. I'm going to find the factors. So 2 times 12 is 24. 2 times 6 is 12, 2 times 3 is 6, so that's all factored down. I still have the 2 in the front, I have a cube root, and I'm going to take these numbers, 
2 times 2 times 2 times 3 will give me 24 times x. So I check my index. I'm looking for three of a kind, which I have right there. So when that comes out of the radical, we just write it once. So last step is to multiply these. Two times two is four. And then three X is left inside the square root because there wasn't three of a kind. So that simplified to four cube root of three X. So that took a while, but we see that our bases are the same. So I'm just going to add the numbers in the front. 28 plus 4 is 32, and then the base stays the same. This would be this one. So when you're simplifying these, make sure you get the same base. If you can't, 